Most of our life is a series of images. They pass us by like towns on the highway, but sometimes a moment stuns us as it happens. We know that this moment, every part of it, will live on forever. In 2005, when I was seven years old, I almost died. I lived in Texas at the time, and we went to a zoo with a couple of my family friends, and that evening I became really ill. Uh, I was so ill that I was screaming at the top of my lungs, and that's when my mom decided to take me to the hospital. And they diagnosed me with meningitis after I had um, a lot of scans, a lot of tests done, a lumbar puncture, which was really painful. And um, if you don't know what meningitis is, it's inflammation of the brain in the spinal cord membranes, which is and is typically caused by an infection. So um, I remember I was in the hospital for 13 days, and when I was there, everyone that came to visit me had to be in a suit from head to toe because it was so contagious that they couldn't even get a, like, a smell of it or else they would be, they would have it. Um, the thing that was the worst part about it was when I was in there, I was so ill that when my mom came in, I didn't even recognize who she was. So that hit me pretty hard when she told me that, and I didn't know until a couple of years later. Luckily, I had caught the disease early enough for the doctors to be able to save my life, and I'm very lucky to still be alive today. If I didn't have the doctors in my family, I would not have been able to push through it alone. Many people, including me, speak about self-love. Figure yourself out, love yourself before you begin to love anyone else, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, I did not learn how to do this until this year after many days a month at a therapist in time. What I've learned is that it's okay to spend time alone if you want to on a Friday night to catch up on your Netflix series and pig out on snacks because you've had an exhausting work week. I hope that more people start to love themselves Enjoy the life that they have been given and embrace each day with open arms. With the best version of you, just like I have. At the end of the day, the only person you have is yourself. And you will for the rest of your life, so you might as well love it. The important thing is not to be bitter over life's disappointments. Learn to let go of the past and recognize that every day won't be sunny. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or to stumble and fall, because most of the time the greatest rewards come from doing the things that scare you. Maybe you'll get everything you wish for, or maybe you'll get more than everything you could ever, ever imagine. But who knows where life will take you because the road is long, but in the end, the journey is worth every step. At this bittersweet moment of the lives of my friends that are graduating class of 2016, I wish all of you to be confident individuals and to not be scared to do the most difficult task. This is a time where guys and girls do not want to say goodbye because on June 1st, when we stand there to become a part of the bigger world outside of high school, we will look around at all each other's faces who have shared their experiences with us in the past 12 years, and we will never forget the moments. And as I stand here on this day, I wish for all of you a never give up attitude and a little piece of arrogance that tells the world if you can, why can't I?